Boingy, 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 Boingy. Hot Wheels Extreme Sharks. Thanks to Joe Marinero for giving me the heads up that these were showing up at Toys R Us in the USA. Push down, you got a little hole cut in the plastic so you can push down on the model and check out the springy sharks. Boingy, boingy, boingy. The car, that's a regular Hot Wheels model so they turned it into an extreme shocks. On the back there's four models, it says collect them all. I don't know if there's going to be more or not. You know Mattel, they usually don't come up with just four models. On top I showed you that wheel, looks like you could turn the wheel and give it more or less suspension. Not only that, right here look, your extreme shock sets, sets. I wonder if they're going to come out with some play sets. Here's a quick look at the art on the card. You got the Baja truck, Rib Shredder, and Rockster. Now, I don't know if these are going to be available at any other stores. It doesn't say Toys R Us exclusive. It just got found first at Toys R Us. Here's the Baja truck. Now, Hot Wheels has a version of the uh, Baja truck. Oh, it's all the way down. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Now he's a, now he's a dunk. Now he's rolling. The Baja truck, maybe you've seen this one in the assortment. So they kind of took the general styling of the Baja truck and used it. That's not exactly the same, it's close. You recognize it as a Baja truck. Or if you had the Team High Speed, you had that one, the Hot Wheels High Speed Racing. They look like it's going to fit on the track, so we're going to go ahead and give these guys some track time and see how they do. Rockster is another one that's in the assortment. Rockster. Here is the Hot Wheels counterpart, Rockster. This one is a little less like the Rockster Hot Wheels version. It does has a similar grill. Maybe with the glare, there you go. But as far as the side, lost a window in the back. Rockster had three windows. This one only has two. Rockster didn't have the tire on the roof. Similar enough. Let's take a look at the car. Too close, back up. The car, D A K A R. All the way up. All the way down. Here's the Hot Wheels version of the Dakar. This one changed probably more than the others. The windows, look at the windshield's different. Kind of has a round shape, but uh, this one here you can see it's got a, met a piece of plastic coming down the middle. And over here, it had this whole bubble didn't have any plastic at all. This one probably changed the most out of the three. There's the car, the car, and the fourth one, Rip Shredder. This one, I don't think there's any Hot Wheels counterpart. I did some searching. I didn't see any other models with the name Rip Shredder. Didn't see any other name models with the name Rip. So I'm not sure uh, what this one is. And look at the wings on the back. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I have to think about it. The car that goes upside, went upside down. It looks like a jet. But anyways, uh, let's see. I wonder if they're going to come out with this model. Land Crusher. He looks like he would uh, work as one of the extreme shocks. Bring him up. How they work is on the inside you can see like a threaded screw and when you spin the tire on top it makes that thread spin around and then it brings up an orange piece of plastic. That's the orange piece of plastic right there. So it brings it up and that adjusts your tension so that you can have more or less spring. And that orange part is actually the uh, spring action when we move this like this. So now the thread, see it went into the orange, it's gotten deeper there. Now, when we go to bend this, 
it's actually that orange piece that bends and gives it the action that you want like you're driving around on the road you got some shock absorption I'm going to use the track builder tower for a fair two lane start they're going to come down into a vintage red lines hot curves track and then we have a straightaway let's see how they roll up first rip shredder in green against rockster in blue Sit, go hey they're pretty fast now we'll do the car in orange and Baja truck in white. Set, go. That was a pretty close race. Now those races that I just showed you, I had the trucks all the way down in their position. But when I lift them all the way up, they bump this part right here. This side's actually a little bit lower. So let me show you some races. And show you that if you're going to use the track builder and if you're going to have the truck in the all the way up position sometimes it's going to hit the truck this one this is low so it's not going to hit it let's try this one see let's try this side this side is a little bit higher When I have my trucks in this position, I'm just going to hook the back wheels onto the starting gate. Maybe you've seen these risers that we can put under the track. We're going to put one at a time to have a single high, and then a double high, and then a triple to see who's the best jumper. Remember, when I have them in the low position, they'll start behind the start gate, and when I rise them up, they'll be on the start gate. Baja Truck vs. Rockster. Both are good. Dakar vs. Rip Shredder. Dakar almost wiped out, but he did land upright. Now in the fully raised position, it is Baja Truck vs. Rockster. Oh, double wipeout. Both vehicles are eliminated. Let's try the last two. The car versus Rip Shredder in the elevated position. Oh, the car wins. Now we did the trucks in the lowest position. See, it's very low. And I did it in the highest position. But this one is in the medium position. Let's check how much they go boingy boingy in each different position. When you have them all the way up, it really goes top of the screen. It's got some bounce. Top of the screen. Bonk. Top of the screen. Oops, excuse me. Top of the screen. A little bit of bounce. So this time, we're going to try them in the medium position with two. Medium position two stacks to car vs Baja truck and since they're lower I can put it behind the gate again set go both are good Rockster vs Rip Shredder all four were good now it's time for three Rockster vs Dakar set go Oh, the car! The car stayed. Goodbye. Baja Truck vs. Rip Shredder. Oh, -ho! so you're out. That means the last two are going to be the car vs. Rip Shredder. There they are in the gate. Set, go! Wow, the car wins again. Wait, he's on his feet. I missed that. One more time. Three high. Let's see who wins. The car versus Rip Shredder. 
fucking double knockout. Nobody wants to win? Again, again. There you go. The car's the winner. I almost forgot the loop test. Got a loop. As for boosters, I would not recommend you putting any models to the booster where the booster grabs onto the wheels. Eventually your wheels are going to get all wonky, but let's see how they do in the loop. Perfect. So what do I think about Extreme Shock? Seems like fun stuff for the kids. That's what it's all about, playing with your toys. Five! Five stacks! Are you crazy? Don't do it! No, no, no! It's five! That's... No, no, too dangerous. Don't do it. Please, please. Please don't do it. I told you. No, not again. Are you serious? Champion! These models have appeared in other race groups videos. You can see a green version of the car in the Green Lantern Energy track. You can click here. Rockster came from an Entertainment 2 pack. The Baja truck was in my track builder Crossroads Crash. And the last model Rip Shredder, brand new. So if you want to subscribe, click here. As always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.